Hi YouTube, it's Aid here from Dale Skidmore Second Hand Tyres. Welcome to part 24 of the boat restoration and at the moment as it is the uh, trailer build. We've had some cracking weather this summer. Sometimes it's been a bit too hot to work. This turns into like a, a radiator and um, it just, it's a single skin block work and it just absorbs the heat and just throws it in your face. But uh, there's a nice little through, dream, through breeze coming now. Hopefully it's not causing any wind noise. So I uh, hope you're all well and enjoying the weather as much as I am. Today I'm working on the rollers that go up the spine and working out a way of fitting them um, in the best way that I think is possible. And uh, to that end I've been chopping up bits of angle iron and uh, I'll show you what I've been up to. Well, I think that's going to work. The uh, only trouble is that because I've put these in all around, it's changed the dimensions from there to there and now these bolts at 75mm are too short so I've got to get some, probably some 100mm ones so that I can get the nuts done up. So I think I'm going to start manufacturing. I've got uh, one, two, three, I've got three of these roller type things so I've got to make another uh, eight of these and another two of these brackets and then that's the three rollers sorted go down to Sharpies and get some more of those longer ones and then start thinking about the uh, buffer with the winch and the uh, jockey wheel after that so I'm going to get cracking. I've been trying to sort out a solution to the problem of holding the jockey wheel on which I think I've found. I uh, was down at the, uh, the local coal mill helping them to pack up the tents and marquees at the end of the season and they got a big box of clamps for scaffolding and being as how the spine is a scaffolding pole I looked looked at it and on the top was one of these it's actually for joining two ends together as a butt joint and I thought that might just do the job the hole centers on the bracket are just a little bit too narrow for the hole centers on the jockey wheel clamp but luckily there's a split through there and on the other side which held a piece of just a piece of plate to stop the poles going too far one way and the other for the butt joint so I'm going to cut through there all the way around and then clamp obviously they'll, the whole set will line up how they want to then and it will all still clamp nice and tightly on the uh, spine Well that's done the trick, it's all tightened up nicely, I had to take the hitch off so I could slide on the brackets but it's uh, all come, come on nice and tight so I think that's a winner. Now I've got to think about an upstand that the front of the boat sort of butts into and contains the winch. What I'm intending to do is actually have a good tidy up and clear all the stuff off the top of the boat and then with the aid of my special boatyard assistants turn the boat over and put it onto the trailer so I can start positioning the rollers in the right places and also build that upstand which you can see there on the old trailer spine I half finished cutting off but I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it so I, I left it for a bit.
But now I've got the jockey wheel on, I decided it's probably a good idea to have a clear up at this end of the workshop and build a new workbench so that I can store away all of the big tools I've got and clear everything off the boat. Because at the moment, every time I do something, I have to move something out of the way. And what I want to do is clear the boat off, get it outside and turned over and put on the trailer so I can build the winch arm on the trailer and then get the boat back in upside down and paint it. So once it's all painted, it can go back on the trailer. The trailer's all finished and then I can fit out the inside. So I'm using a fire door that I've got, which I've had for a long time waiting around to do something with. And um, I'm going to use that and make a similar sort of design to the bench that's underneath it with a shelf underneath and then I can stick all the tools away and that will be one less thing on the floor to keep tripping over or have to keep moving. That's what I'm going to be doing next. I won't put any of it onto the, onto the video apart from when it's finished. Well there we are, didn't take long. It's only housing joints, halving joints and uh, a few screws to hold it together, some plywood and some planking for the uh, back and sides and the shelf. But it's uh, meant I can put a load of stuff away which I'd had to move around all over the place because I had nowhere to store it. And this nice solid bench. I've got a vice to put on it, metalworking vice, but it's all seized up at the moment where the old garage roof started leaking. It leaked on it and it's uh, seized it up. So. There's a little restoration job to do in the future. Got a lot of uh, WD-40 I think to spray around to start loosening it all up soon. Then that can go on the end of the bench as well. So I've got a dirty bench then and a clean bench. Well the work kept piling up and coming in and I uh, finally managed to get my workbench cleared down and drew a line in the sand to uh, have a couple of weeks off over Christmas and we got this turned over on the Sunday before Christmas Eve onto the trailer. It fits pretty well and I've just been looking at it and seeing if I want to move anything around and it does need to go back a little bit probably about 100, 150 mil so that I can get the upstand in this area and clear the uh, jack on the jockey wheel and that probably go back a little touch back to there somewhere and maybe even swap it with that u-bolt but I think the whole of the spine needs to come forward by that 100 150 mil and then I'll keep the balance point around about between those two sets of rollers, the build rollers and the spine, the uh, keel roller in the middle there. At the moment it's balanced very finely on the keel. I'm raising that with one finger. And I think the balance over the, keeping the balance of it mainly over the, the axle it's probably the best place to have it. Uh, if you take it, if you unhook it from the front, it's not going to tip up. It's going to remain where you, where you sort of leave it really. So I'm going to just have a little think about it and then uh, do some adjusting. I've cleaned up and ground off all the paint off of the upstand and because of the rollers being a lot higher than the old ones were I've decided to put it on the base which is a piece of the bed frame which I've cut off and I think also it will give it a nice big welded area because that's a foot long that um, base U channel so if I weld that all the way along the spine weld the upstand to that and then weld on some side plates and weld down again onto the outsides at three and nine o'clock 
on the uh, spine. That will make a good, strong, probably over-engineered uh, upstand. And then I've got some of the other channel and the box sections to make a mounting point for the winch, which I'm going to start working on now. This is all clamped in place, so I get an idea of how to go about making the top half. So once that's done, I'll show that to you as well. I'm going to leave this all in place for now, and it's looking good. Even the upstand, which I thought was extremely ropey, once I've cleaned all the paint off it and wire brushed it with uh, an attachment for the angle grinder, it's cleaned up really quite nicely. So uh, I'm a lot happier about it going on there. I was worried that it was going to be too flimsy in the end because it was all too much um, corrosion on it. But it looks pretty good now, so uh, we're going to stick with it. I was out walking along in the harbour in Dover the other day and there's some trailers there and some of them are really flimsy and some of them built like the fourth bridge so I figured like that uh, if I do something in between then uh, I can't be going too wrong. So I'm getting quite uh, excited about this now because it's going just how I hoped it would do really. Well, there's the winch mounted on the box that I've made for going on to the upstand and it looks pretty good, nice and solid. It bolts through onto the upstand and it ain't going anywhere. What I'm going to do is strip all the paint off the box sections and weld them all together into to the plates, the top and bottom plates, which are pieces that came with the suspension units. They were for mounting on, I don't know, other sort of stuff, but of course we're going through a new channel, so there was no need for them. So I've utilised them for this because it, it's just, just the right size. So that's all there together now as it should be and quite happy with it I was, it's taken an awful long time to work it out but uh, like everything else for me I start thinking about it and overthinking it thinking around it and wondering and the only way really to you know to see what it's like is to actually do it and uh, as soon as I sort of had an idea of what I wanted to do and as soon as I started doing it it all fell into place and I'm pleased with it. I know it's going to be as strong, if not stronger, than what was already on the old trailer when it came. And so I'm happy with that. I've got some more work coming, so I might actually just leave it at that for now and live with it for a few days whilst I'm working on the jobs I got in. And then I can commit myself with the old arc welder to uh, making it permanent. So that's where things are at the moment. I did try and strip down the winch, but I, apart from taking the arm off, the winding arm, I couldn't really get it apart. I pulled out all the cable that was on it, and there was 10 metres on there, which is quite a lot, surprisingly. Um, it was no good. It was squashed and buckled and all sorts. So I've got to get a new length of 6mm stranded cable which I don't know how much they're going to be it depends on whether I go to B&Q or the uh, Chandler's we'll have to see but uh, that's not going to be much to replace really um, like I say I can't take it apart any more than that um, I don't know how it maybe it was press fitted together it's actually from Milwaukee in America I found from the uh, printing on on the uh, side of the plate so uh, it's come a long way and it's been around for a few years as well I'll just um, lube it up and uh, pack it full of grease and oil and all sorts I can get in there just to keep it uh, keep it running it is pretty good um, can't really have had a lot of use it certainly uh, runs in and out smooth enough once it's anchored down of course it'll be even better I think that just about wraps it up for now on this episode. I'm going to live with the winch and everything in place like that and um, see what I think but I'm pretty convinced now that's that's it. 
So then it's just a case of committing it to the old arc welder and um, a few bits and bobs like that and that'll be done. Then I can turn the boat back over onto the stands and start final sanding undercoat paint. That'll be the next job after I've finished doing this welding. So we'll save that for another day. So it just remains to say Happy New Year to everyone and uh, thanks for watching and your subscriptions and um, I'll see you all in the next video. Cheerio.